What's up people, Manor here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be making a veggie stir fry with bok choy. I'm at my garden right now. I do have a pretty good uh, bok choy uh, growing. Uh, this is a lucky plant. We're going to be cutting it. I'm going to be cutting it right over here at the bottom and then we're going to be using leaves. The ingredients that we're going to be using are four or five mushrooms that are cut into quarters. These are big mushrooms that I'm using along with one whole onion that I have sliced and three carrots that I have julienned a little coarsely. We're also going to be using some broccoli that I have cut. I'm only taking the broccoli flowers. I'm not using the stems. I've also got four garlic that I have coarsely diced and two bell peppers that I've cut about half an inch wide by two inch long, I guess, bite side pieces. Some of them are a little thick, but that's okay. Uh, main thing that I'm also doing is I'm not tossing out the seed pods because they have a lot of flavor in it. But this is strictly option. If you don't want to use the seed pods, you don't have to, you can just toss it out. To prep up the bok choy that I just picked from the garden, I separated out the leaves the small ones, I'm not going to do anything with. The big ones, like these big stems, we're going to be taking the white stem or the slightly tougher stem out. And when you're using knife, uh, be extremely careful. Once we have uh, cut the white part out of the bok choy and separated the small leaves, we just need to stack the leaves up one on top of the other, like so. And if you have a giant bok choy leaf, just cut it in the middle. and stack that up. The reason why we are doing this is we're going to be cooking the slightly tougher part with the carrots so they cook uh, evenly and they cook better. Uh, the baby bok choy we are not going to or the small bok choy leaves we are not going to discard them we're going to use them but we're going to be leaving them as is and the big bulky leaves that we got we're just going to cut them right down the middle Like so, and once more. Yes, they do look quite a bit, but the thing is, bok choy leaves or any leaves for that matter will reduce once you're cooking them. And this dish that we're making, uh, we're going to be serving it with rice. So there's going to be a little bit more gravy to it there's going to be a little bit more water to it. Now that the prep work is done and the prep work, oddly enough, will take the longest amount of time, we can start the cooking process. Here I have a wok. I've taken about a spoon or a tablespoon worth of oil. I'm going to turn it on, bring it to high heat. And as soon as the oil starts to shimmer or release a little bit of smoke, very carefully we're going to be dropping in the sliced onions. The reason why we are using sliced onion is the diced onions will uh, dry up. We want this to be a wet dish. That's why we're using long uh, sliced onions. Break them up, mix them up. While this is going, we're going to heat up about four cups of water. Add salt, a little bit of salt. Add the broccoli in very carefully. While this is going, break them up, mix them up. As soon as the onions have become slightly translucent, this is when we are going to be adding in the coarsely julienne carrots. And the reason why we want to add the carrots right now is uh, they take a little longer to cook. Just mix them up, bring the heat down to medium high. And now toss in the garlic that we had diced and also break the seeds of the bell pepper and let them drop in. This is a very unique way of uh, making this and the bell pepper seeds that have a little bit of heat to it, they really bring out the flavor of the dish. And the central part, just toss it in the compost. Now that the seeds are in, mix it up.
and you should start smelling the strong scent of uh, garlic. And at this point, we're going to be tossing in the stems of bok choy. And we want to leave them long because we want that to be picked up individually with a fork while you're eating it. Now that the broccoli has boiled, really quick, take it out and dunk in an ice cold bath. All right, we have taken the broccoli out of uh, the hot water and toss it in to a cold bath and we'll let it sit here. Now back to the stir fry. We're going to be tossing in next the bell peppers and mix it up. And now we're going to be adding in the mushrooms. And the reason why we are adding it in stages is some of the vegetables don't take too long to cook. Some of them do take a little longer to cook. So you have to keep that in mind. Now that that's done, we're going to be adding in some low sodium soya sauce and for some color, some aged soya sauce. I'm going to mix it up. Bring the heat up just a little. To kick up the heat, we're going to be tossing in some red chili flakes and this is to taste. And once that's in, just mix it up. The mushrooms are going to start releasing a lot of water and the quantity is going to reduce. Uh, the bell pepper are also going to start getting soft. Uh, what we now want to do is create like a small well. So all the water or the sauce that we add in and the juices that are extracting can pull in the middle. And now we're going to be adding in the bok choy. It looks a lot, but it is actually going to reduce significantly. The bok choy is in. Let's mix it up. The main intention is to get the bok choy on the bottom and the veggies on the top of the bok choy so they can press it down. Once that's done, take a cover, put the veggies down and let it start steaming. And we want this to go for about two minutes. As soon as you start seeing the water form on the top, water droplets form on the top that's when you open it up shake the water back into the wok mix it up and as you can see uh, the bok choy leaves have significantly reduced in size make it into a small well again and this is when you drop in the broccoli right into it it's a very mild dish and it really brings out the flavor and allows you to taste the individual veggies now that the broccoli is in put the sides Move the sides down, mix them up. Now how do you taste test this? Just move this, move the vegetables aside, it's taste test the broth. Oh yeah, oh definitely good. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, black pepper to kick it up a little and we're going to be covering it back up. and let it cook for no more than two minutes. Two minutes have lapsed, I'm gonna mix it up again. Here's a secret tip. Now here's a quick trick. Uh, because you see the gravy is too liquidy to make it thick and to make it really like sauce-like, all you need to do is take a spoonful of cornstarch, mix it with cold water, mix it with cold water and just stir it in. Just drop it in. It seems like a lot, but it's not. Put it on heat and voila right in front of your eyes instantly it has turned really thick look at that now stir in the veggies and all the water that they might release is absorbed and to garnish it just take some roasted sesame seeds and sprinkle them on the top and this delicious vegan bok choy stir fry is ready to go and serving suggestion just serve it on a bed of rice uh, because of the gravy. If you kept the gravy less, you can also incorporate it with some noodles, like short noodles. If you have any questions about this recipe, leave them in the comment section below. And if you want me to make anything special, do leave that in the comment also, and I'll be happy to help. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys and girls on the next one. Later, people. Bye.